Welcome, this is the a new message. Um, it is a message for Thanksgiving. I want to say welcome. Welcome back to my channel and um, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. And um, this is a message, but yet still it is something of a very importancy um, that I personally Think is good for each and every one of us as a member on this planet and a humanitarian to do it is and in um, over to uh, the 23rd of November it's going to be Thanksgiving in the United States of America and I am calling on each and every person who do support this channel and if you um, are living in the United States and you celebrate Thanksgiving, please donate to the Power Outreach Fellowship because this is good. What this is is that every um, Thanksgiving um, I do support something that um, helps with the help of humanity and this year I'm choosing um, to work with the power outreach ministry apostolic faith church that is in Oakland uh, Fort Lauderdale Florida and um, I have chosen this um, a church or outreach ministry to work with this year because they are doing a wonderful job and um, I am asking each and every person to open up your hearts um, at this time because um, the 23rd the fourth Thursday um, of November it's always a Thanksgiving that we celebrate here in the United States of America and this year I'm here and I'm supporting um, this power outreach ministry because I was baptized as a child as an apostolic in a, an apostolic church and I think we as humans on this planet should reach out to other people and help other people I was blown away um, from this why it's because I have met someone um, who um, brought me to this church and this is uh, someone who um, was placed in my life because sometimes we meet people and we never know uh, what is the reason um, for the connection and I should say at the time when I met her and where I met her I was going uh, through a situation where there was a lot of hatred coming at me from uh, people who I didn't even know and it was a form of jealousy and she has become a friend who had stand by me in the presence and I remember she said to me that people do not like to see other people um, make something of their lives and um, you know it is so strange because we always laugh at it at, at, at it and um, she um, have become a very a very good friend of mine and uh, um, during the course of our meeting she um, reached out to me because she had a situation and she asked me if I could support her through um, the situation that she was dealing with and I did so you know sometimes we are um, you know we you can meet people in a situation that you think oh my god how did I ever get to this situation but um, most of the time we have to um, you know um, enter or um, connect with people um, because certain situation bring them to us because I have been back uh, after 20 years living um, in Europe and I've been back and so how comes I met this person who has become 
one of the most amazing person I've ever met in my life and um, I'm so grateful that whatever um, gods and angels that has brought us together that um, she could have supported me in that time when I was going through something that I was like oh my god I thought people have changed you know and um, she was always there and I, I can remember it was sometimes when things were bad she goes you go you go girl you just rock those eye heel shoes and <laughs> I, I would just laugh but you know the thing about it is that sometimes we end up in places and situations and um, I guess that was for me an eye open um, just to, to let me see that people still haven't changed and people are still vibrating on a lower energy vibration but out of that um, very bad situation or out of that situation I wouldn't have said that it was bad I think it was just a learning lesson um, for me I think it was something that I had to go through seeing that I have not um, been here for 20 years and these were karmatic situation that I had to dealt with but at the end of the day I met someone and I met a lot of people who were um, very very nice and um, and I remember um, being there and I remember the first time I saw her and I saw something and I think oh my god no this is not happening to me again and I thought to myself you know um, my mom had gone through um, the same thing and I guess uh, the universe placed this person in my life again um, to help them through their journey so I am grateful for um, the experience that I've had at that place why I've met this beautiful person because uh, sometimes we are not aware the earth angel that we are going to meet whenever we go out and we go to go to places and by doing this she I remember she said to me I'm inviting you to church and I thought okay and it so how it comes that one day I took her to somewhere and uh, she says you know um, I'm gonna call my pastor and she called the pastor and we went and it was the most amazing person because I'm not really um, someone who is deeply connected to the church because I have my own beliefs and my own situations and I used to go to another church when I was um, six years old and that makes me really wrote, wrote my first uh, book um, removing the veil of illusion because the experience at the other church because it was not the church that I was baptized in um, as a baby I was baptized as an apostolic and now uh, all the puzzles are coming together because um, Jesus had 12 apostolic day and I, I and now I'm understanding why I was baptized in that church but yet still I was not always going there I was going to another church which was the opposite side of the road so um everything happens for a reason and I do believe in the fate of the Apostolic Church and meeting this pastor was the most amazing things that happened because I, I um, did not I have excluded myself from church since I was 16 because I um, could not find the answers that I was looking for there so I went out on a limb to find the answers for myself and I mix the spiritual world with the um, scientist world um, to find my truth and from there I could write my book because a meditation a being balancing um, knowing that everything is connected and how the energies work and how the universe work then we are able um, to connect with the rest okay so um, I see a church as um, a place where people need to go because they need to have a connection and they need to be in a group and they need to be um, feel as if they are in balance doing something so I am not uh, someone who um, is always connected to organization and that sort of a thing I 
I'm someone who stands and um, study the way the group of people work because with 10 every 10 peer person that is in a group every 10 person that is in a group one is very good one is very bad and the eight go with the rest they go with the win because majority of people have no opinion for themselves so they will slide to whatever side that is working out for them so when I got the invitation to go to church because I'm actually um, back in the States and my family has um, they go to a church in West Palm Beach and I was going to the church and then I decided I I'm going to look for a different church and um, I, I don't think they're <laughs> quite happy with me but I think um, it wasn't what I was looking for um, I think I have my own idea of what I want to be connected with and there was nothing wrong but it was just not that I couldn't find what I was looking for and I found it when I went to this church because I remember I was a scene I, a, a client I met with her and I said to her you know let's go to church on Sunday and I called up my friend that I've met and I said um, can we go to church on Sunday I need to take this lady to church and we went we all went to church um, that Sunday and I was sitting down there and I got the, the um, the um, scripture for the day on a paper and I read and I, and I saw apostolic and I'm like oh no really seriously I was baptized in an apostolic church and for me and you know for myself at that moment I realized that I was um, returned back to where as a baby that I was baptized as a baby so um, I thought oh my gosh I have to do something um, for this and when I realized what was happening I was like maybe I could use Thanksgiving um, to help them to support um, whatever they're doing and later on I um, spoke to the pastor and I, I remember it was a beautiful um, day at church and um, it was such a powerful um, he did such a powerful service and it was wonderful it was small it's a small group of people who actually you could feel the love and no falseness um, it was really true positive love and the most important thing is that they help the homeless and provide food for the poor so that was where I realized that I found something uh, an organization that I could really help out um, for Thanksgiving and this um, church I have chosen for this year for Thanksgiving so let me give you a little um, a background about this church you know to keep on helping um, they keep on helping their community um, whether religious or not uh, they would urgently appreciate your donation uh, please contact the church to ask for um, possible donation you can donate um, for them via my website um, and um, your help provides resources for the church and a lot of people in the community um, rooms and um, as you notice the building um, the building is a building of an old hotel and it so comes that this pastor bought this place and he has his church downstairs and he rents the room upstairs for people who um, are not um, you know uh, have a possibility of ha finding a, an apartment uh, for short times so 
I I was blown away because I went there and I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> and after they have just you know like the downstairs, um, there is where um, they have food and clothes for the poor and a little room for the church. And it is the most um, unique and small area, but yet still you feel. Um, um, very loved door the people and the way they reached out to you as someone who has just been there for the first time and not only that but there was just something that I felt this could be the place even though I am not um, so um, connected to the church I think just the name of it that's where I have uh, such a thing that I because most of the time I'm doing my readings on Sundays and I'm doing my videos on Sundays I never can get the chance to go but I am um, you know I've seen the work that they have been doing I help out with other stuff and I'm asking each and every person to open your heart open your heart because we live um, in the most rich and powerful country of the world but yet still um, there are people who are trying to get by and there are people who have nothing to heat and this is going to be Thanksgiving and I'm asking each and every person to open up your hearts I I will be there to help to support um, to help give out food for the homeless and um, you know if you can donate clothes whatever um, you can donate to this church because he's really really trying um, to help the community around the area because um, not everyone is viable of uh, taking care of themselves and sometimes people ever um, you know have fall down falls uh, in their lives and um, this is where this church comes in as you know for the time that I've spoken to them and I've been there I am really impressed by the work that they're doing only by themselves and alone with their self I remember um, the pastor and <laughs> Is, is so strange but you know in this world there are still very good people and um, I think this country is one of those places because um, people are not aware what is on the dollar the um, what message is on the dollar of this country and that's why this country will be and stand the most powerful country it is um, in God we trust and this in the whole world this is the only country that has on their dollar bill their monetary bill in God we trust and this is what makes this country one of the most powerful country in the world I um, choose to help this organization because this organization is doing a lot for the homeless and um, we tend to forget these people in some way or another we tend to walk and look at them on the street my personal thing is that I feel very very bad when I am at the stoplight and I can't and I do not have anything any change to give someone who is homeless and asking for something that is when I feel very very bad with myself and I wish um, if sometimes I remember I'm in my you know I'm driving along since I'm in Florida because um, Florida is huge and I'm driving along and I see someone and if I have cola because I'm always having cola in my truck I'm always going to give um, a, you know a can of cola to the person if there is no change we tend to forget that we never know what the future brings and whenever we can really open up our hearts to give even you know a quarter or a dime of a dollar um, one dollar 
can give you something to eat this is a country that is built with fast food and you can buy something a meal for three dollars or something and I'm asking each and every person who is listening to this video is to open up your heart to the next person you see the next homeless person and even if we have the thought that maybe they're going to buy drugs with the money we need to open up ourselves and understand that you never know what tomorrow bring today is their day but maybe tomorrow it's yours so um, what I would like to say to each and every person even though the strangest thing happened because <laughs> the last nine months because I've <laughs> the last nine months has been and really open I um, after being in Europe for such a very long time I remember um, there is at the end of my street uh, uh, Wendy's and um, um, I went to that Wendy's with the person who I went to church with and um, <laughs> I constantly go to that Wendy's because they have a um, a chicken strip that is so good and their lemonade because I tend to drink a lot of lemonade because I love lemonade because it's so refreshing because it's so hot and there's always this man always this Caucasian man and I'm thinking and after I leave and sometime I'm driving by in the evenings I see him sitting outside and he has this cart and what is so amazing is that this man from New York um, is the manager of that Wendy's and he was there and I said to him could you please order a breakfast for that man and he says oh my god he's homeless and I said yes I know I've always seen him here and I ordered the breakfast because it was four dollars something I mean seriously and I I said it's okay I'll give it to him and I I took it and I walked over to him and I gave it to him and the smile um, that he smiled and I thought oh my god and this is so amazing because a lot of people tend to have their own opinions about me but um, I really really don't care about people opinion whatever you may think about me and what I do because what I'm doing is trying to change the energy vibration and trying to help people to understand who we are and trying to help people to realize that we're on a planet we're on this planet going through on a journey and for me that smile made my day then using it to go buy a pair of shoes or something because this person needed to have something to eat this is some place that I always go to get like coffee or get lemonades because I'm one of those women who don't cook because I can't cook and I don't feel bad about it because I don't feel really connected I've never felt connected on this planet so I just think that people shouldn't cook I just think that you kill um, the nourishment out of food and for me I can eat vegetables and salad <laughs> so I'm always going by for coffee and I had um, I connected with a friend of mine who um, ordered a reading from me and um, we sat there and she said oh my god that is so nice what you do and I said I don't think it's really nice I just think that it's something that if more people in this world reach out to other people and do this world would be a better place and after like two hours or so he was still sitting in there which was so very nice of this um, manager is that he knew that this man was homeless but yet still he let him come in the restaurants and that is good because I think that um, a lot of fast food restaurants do not help the homeless and this is what I cannot understand because a fast food restaurant 
always you make a certain amount of food and you can at least give five homeless a meal per day which is not going to cost you anything it's not going to um, decrease your sales in any way and I think for a powerful country like this we all need to start to help each other and a meal per day is not that much because it was four dollars something this man went up and he got himself something to eat and I thought okay but I did gave you your breakfast so you know this is something that happens to me that I think you know it doesn't really matter he wasn't using the money to do something else he was hungry and I always thought and my mom always say if you can do anything for anyone make sure that they have a roof over their head and food to eat and I think we all hold each other to help each other and, and do this for each other because a coffee is just a dollar something in this country and we can spend a dollar to give someone something just to eat or drink because we never know what tomorrow is going to bring for us this is um, one of those um, time that I'm asking each and every person to think you do not have to um, um, believe in the same uh, ideology that I think in because I am um, I consider myself to be different um, than the norms all I'm saying is that one dollar can help someone to have a warm meal and if only we can give one meal per day um, it's doing a lot for someone we never know what tomorrow bring we never know what is going to happen to us because nothing is built in stone we are here for a time we never know that the homeless that we help today that he may be helping us tomorrow so we need to understand that we are not um, here and we're not mighty over these people it's just that they have reached a rough point in their life why they have become homeless and sometimes some of them just choose to be like that and I've always thought um, to be nice to certain people in this life the homeless are one and the people who cleans your office and who cleans the metro who cleans the train I always say good morning because one good morning can make someone world even better and the days even better we are not better than each other no matter who you are and what you think you have achieved in this lifetime um, we are all here learning a lesson on this planet and we should open up our hearts and mind to understand that um, helping someone else is not that you have to do it every day but um, even um, giving someone um, um, you know letting someone through um, is even uh, doing a good deed I always try to do one good deed at a time and sometimes not all the time because God knows I'm not perfect but I always try to do one good deed for someone sometimes um, we um, think that um, we need to put ourselves first yes we do but at least we can remember that person that is cleaning the office bathroom that person who is opening the door for us that person who is at the doctor's receptionist office um, that garbage man that person who is picking up your garbage we need to remember these people because they we are the same 
it is just that some of us are more fortunate than the other okay so again I want to um, ask each and every person um, especially if you are in Florida and you're celebrating um, um, Thanksgiving this year please reach out if it's even you can bake a pie or you can take a bread uh, or something along to this church I'm asking um, each and every person to open up your heart whenever you're doing your Thanksgiving um, um, whenever you're doing your Thanksgiving shopping to remember that you can also take even one thing of something beans or something so that we can help um, the poor on this day um, I don't consider um, poor to be because I think poor the word poor is so degrading I think that we should say the people who are less fortunate to us because poor seems to be as if it's a word that breaks your own energy vibration when you hear it so I, I think and I would always change it you're not poor and no one is poor they're just not fortunate enough as the other I know I've always been told by my mom you cannot help the whole world and I am not trying to help the whole world but I am trying to support um, and do something that can help to change the energy vibration of who we are as a person I am trying to make people realize who they are and see the inner light of who you are as a person no matter who you are what you have done there are lessons there are things you need to forgive yourself as you need to forgive other people I am not perfect you are not perfect no one is perfect none of us is perfect on this planet but what we can do is help each other and um, give a helping end um, there are a few people I would like to say thank you to and most of all thank you to um, the person um, who did my website um, you have been <laughs> the stone of my life with my website and all that I want um, I can just ask him to just um, I just sent him the picture of the church and just said you know this is what I'm doing for Thanksgiving and he can just in a few minutes um, make something happen and I want to say thank you so much you know who you are um, there are so many people that I would like to um, say thank you to because um, um, there are a lot of people who have met the last nine months who have really um, touched my heart in so many um, ways and um, if I can't reach out to anyone else I am using that love to reach out to the people who are less unfortunate because I think um, for a country like this no one should be without food because if we drive around and looked at each corner in Florida there is a fast food store and um, we as a country and a group of people together should reach out to each other and make sure that on Thanksgiving Day no one is um, hungry and no one have to go to bed without having a meal on Thanksgiving Day I want to say thank you for supporting my channel thank you for being here uh, please donate and uh, if you are living in the Fort Lauderdale area and uh, you can bring things clothes whatever you have um, to bring um, there's always someone at the church I think they are there from um, 9 until 6 sometimes 7 it depends and I should also say that they have also a prior line 
and you can um, call that prior line that prior line um, begins at six o'clock in the morning um, the pastor is always up at five he is a beautiful person I um, I have my skeptic about the whole church situation and pastors and that sort of a thing but this one is really genuine he has um, everything that you be looking for um, in being you know a pastor um, very upright um, very open-hearted he's always open um, to everyone so um, again um, thank you for supporting um, for a lot of people you can see um, I will place um, the billboard on my website and also on YouTube um, it is the power outreach minister it is at 2600 Northwest 21st Street uh, 21st Avenue <laughs> sorry Oakland Park Florida um, I said Fort Lauderdale because um, Oakland Park is actually in and under the county of Broward County and Fort Lauderdale I want to say many thanks in advance um, love and light until next time bye